Welcome to uh, Chile Racecourse Road in Ayr. My name is Tracy Flynn. I'm the Chief Executive at the Ayrshire Hospice. We thought we would give you a sneak peek in behind the hoarding here in Racecourse Road so that you can get a bit of a sense of the development of the new Ayrshire Hospice. I am standing close to what will be the main entrance to the new hospice. As you can see, the two original buildings that we have had for a number of years are both under redevelopment. There will be in the new hospice a cafe that we will welcome you to seven days a week. We will have a number of new features and we really hope to throw open the doors of our hospice to the community. I'm currently standing in what will be the patient gymnasium. Within this building, uh, we are hoping to have a hairdressing facility, outpatient consultation rooms for our consultants and specialist palliative care nurses. We will also have some beautiful therapy rooms for complementary therapy. This area is what we know as the living well at the Ayrshire Hospice, where patients and their families come from all over Ayrshire to spend time here having various therapeutic interventions with our team of allied healthcare professionals. The new hospice is going to provide us with much more space for the first time ever. I'm going to be able to bring all our staff, except for our retail staff, here under one roof to work in Racecourse Road. The hospice will give us enough space also for celebrations for families. This is a space where I hope potentially to open up in the evenings and help families to be together. As you can see, it's a fairly large space. One of the things we're really going to need when we move back here to Racecourse Road is lots of volunteers. This is a room that many uh, of our community will have sat in over the years. Uh, this was the education space for the Ayrshire Hospice and it was the lecture theatre for us once upon a time. Where I'm standing right now behind me is going to be a beautiful new window which will shed light into this space. This is going to give you a sense of walking down the, one of the new corridors in the hospice, taking us from the back of the living well into the new coffee shop, as will be. So there's lots of nice little perch points within the wall, built into the walls, so that patients can take a moment and have a little rest, because it is a sizeable corridor that we're going to have here, lovely link between the two buildings. This means we don't, patients don't have to go outside to go from one area to the other in the new hospice just going to be a seamless transition through so that's a real positive in the new build for us. Building of our new hospice is definitely not something that I take any credit for. Uh, we are working with our contractors McLaughlin and Harvey who it has to say have been absolutely exceptional. Their tenacity to build this project within a reasonably tight time frame is something that I have great respect for and the team at the Asher Hospice are indebted uh, to them for their work. For me this is the most important part of our whole development. I am standing right in the middle of what will be our inpatient unit. It will be a 12 bedded facility, each, each bedroom with an ensuite bathroom and the opportunity to take patients outside straight from their bedroom onto a private patio. To be able to take a patient outside into the fresh air in their bed is one of the most special things that we can do. Within the inpatient unit there will also be a teenage room, a dedicated space for children who will work with our children and young persons counsellor. We will have a multidisciplinary space for where all our healthcare professionals can come together and make the correct, appropriate decisions for patients and their families. We've got dedicated pharmacy space, as you would expect us to have, and we've got some celebration rooms down the end of the inpatient unit where families can take some time out, just rest and recuperate. All of this would not have been possible without the support of the Ayrshire Hospice Board our board members have spent years having the vision of bringing this facility to the people of Ayrshire Narn. They have required to use prudent accounting and good governance in order to make this possible for us. The building is costing the Ayrshire Hospice over £18 million, a very significant sum of money, but an absolute investment for the community of Ayrshire and Arran. 
we need your help. We have done well with fundraising and we are almost there. We have just over two and a half million still to raise. Think about donating to your hospice, the hospice for the future. Please click on the link if it's something that you feel you wish to do. Hospice care is difficult work. We are privileged to be visitors in people's lives at one of the most difficult times in their lives. This facility will give us the ability to do so much more for our patients and for our patients and their families to be independent and live their lives while they are here. Thank you as a community of Ayrshire Man for all your support and I am also very grateful to all my staff and volunteers for everything they have done to make this happen. Thank you.